Hi everyone, myself Tamanna Agrawal. Today we are going to study change management. So the topics that are going to cover in module 1 are introduction to change management, levels of changes and its importance, ADCAR model, imperative of changes, forces of changes, causes of changes, on technology, social, economically, organization, cut level, change model, action research model, expanded process model, AJ Levitz model. So we'll start with the concept change. So here a question comes, what do you understand by change? So change is any alteration occurring in the work environment that affect the ways in which the employees must act. These changes may be planned or unplanned, may be positive or negative, strong or weak, slow or rapid, stimulated either internally or externally. Now moving ahead, now we'll understand the definition of change management. So change management involves the process that ensures a business respond to the environment in which it operates means to manage the change that is going to happen in the organization is called change management. Next is level of changes and its importance. So what are the three different levels where a change can happen? So there are three level of changes, individual level, group level, organization level. So let's understand one by one these level changes. Number one is, is individual level change. So here changes in job profile, changes in assignment, you are moving some other location, you have got the transfer, you have got the job enlargement means you have got the promotion. So these all are what? These all are the changes that happen in the individual's life. So yes, this is an individual level change. Next is group level change. Group level change means change in workflow where you are working. If something, some changes are there. Okay, for example, you are working in a project. Now your client on uh, whose you have this project, he says, no, I don't want this. I want this thing, another thing to implement in the organization. So what it is? It is the changes in workflow on which you were already working but now your client wants something else. So this is a changes in the workflow. Now second is change in job design that is also a part of group level change. Changes in job design means your responsibility where you are the manager and now you have got the promotion. So what it is? It is the group level change. Third one is organization level change. Organization level change may be both. It may be individual, it may be group level change. And here the decision will be made by the top management. And it can occur a long period of time, planning and implementation. It's not like, it's not one day, it's not one night task. So if there are the changes that are going to implement in the organization, these changes occur a long period of time planning. Next is ADCAR model. So ADCAR model is a foundation tool for understanding how, why and when to use different change management tools. So let's see what this term means. ADCAR, A for awareness, D for desire, K for knowledge, A for again ability and R for reinforcement. So these five things, awareness, desire, knowledge, ability, reinforcement completes this model. So let's start with the first one that is awareness. Awareness means awareness of the need of change, why it is important, why it is essential to implement that change in the organization. That is awareness. Next is desire. Desire means you are willing to to implement that change in the organization. Number three is knowledge. Knowledge on how to change. Yes, we are saying that we have got this change. We need to implement this change. But what about the knowledge? What about the training? How you will implement this change without the knowledge? So knowledge is the third thing 
third essential thing to understand that how to implement the change in the organization fourth is ability ability to implement new skills for example uh, many uh, many uh, employees are working in the organization but they work because from so many years they are working and they are working in one way only on their traditional way but now a technology has come so this technology how to implement and how much they are able to implement this new technology in their work so this is ability fifth one is reinforcement reinforcement that means to cement the change means that you have implemented the change because you were aware because you were desire because you have knowledge and you have ability also you have got everything reinforcement means when you implemented all those changes you have cemented that change that now you have to make sure that you are not going to make any changes that you are these changes are for forever so here means reinforcement means to cement that change is called reinforcement so here edgar model gives us five things through which we can implement the change successfully in any organization next is let's understand imperatives of change what does it mean so what is that element that ignite you that changes are required in the organization so answer is when you are dissatisfied with the present strategies so it is essential to develop a vision for better alternative it is necessary to develop strategies to implement change and yes there will be resistance to change and this is why we are a change management change manager not change management a change manager manager come into picture so a change management manager can create a change management strategy and develop change management plans but they are not only one that involve in managing change other groups are also invited in this project team senior leaders managers and supervisors employees so in short we can say the everybody who is working in the organization are the group that is involved in this change management plan so not only the change manager in fact the entire one each and every one is the part of this change management now here let's take an example of starbucks so in 2007 when its price fell by when its share price fell by 40% people tell the founder howard to turn the business around because your share price is very much fell howard worked hard to understand what is wrong with the business and what changes need to do to fix this business and with his courage and commitment and well planned management the thing is management well planned management bring the business back with his commitment and his well planned management he bring his business back so yes we what we need we need maybe changes can come but we need the proper management through the proper management we can run our organization in a better way in a smooth way next is forces for change now what are those forces which tell us which force us to change yes so what are those technology you can see that nowadays technology is emerging we people are very much tech savvy nowadays so this tech what this is telling us this is telling us to force ourselves this is forcing us to move to the change a change right second is economic shocks maybe uh, maybe uh, different different uh, security market crashes interest rate fluctuations so these all are the factors that are forcing us to the to a see change so we require change because of these factors maybe the competition that is growing uh, that is growing nowadays maybe in e-commerce portals maybe for e-commerce portals or maybe anywhere the competition is growing it is emerging so we 
want change because of these forces so here few things are given like technology economic shocks competition social trends that are that are ro uh, roaming around world politics that is happening this includes and this forces to bring the change maybe in the organization maybe in the world maybe in our country so these all factors pushing us towards the change